welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to solve these kind of questions okay here we have a fraction which is 1 upon 9 and then it is raised to a negative index okay so a lot of people get stuck with negative and that too are index in decimal okay so in something like this how do you do the first very important thing you need to remember is that a raised to minus n okay that can be written as nothing but what reciprocal of 1 upon a raised to positive n now so here basically whatever negative value you have or rather whenever you have a negative index you just put the reciprocal of your argument or your base okay so your reciprocal of 1 upon 9 is nothing but just 9 correct so now your question changes to 9 raised to 0 0.5 okay now please understand 0 0.5 can be written in terms of what decim uh, in terms of fraction is basically 5 upon 10 and we know that it can be reduced further 1s are and 2s are right so here basically this comes out to be just 1 upon 2 so here I can write this as nothing but what 9 raised to 1 upon 2 okay now remember that a raised to 1 upon n okay can be written as nothing but what nth root of a okay so similarly if you have a raised to half now half it's basically very obvious that it's nothing but what root of a so here basically you will find root of 9 which is just 3 don't make the mistake of putting plus or minus sign okay that's absolutely wrong See, when you want the root of a positive number, the answer will always be a positive value. Okay? Only in case if this was like this, x square is equal to 9, then because there is a variable involved, you would put a plus minus sign of root 9. Okay? But if there is just a single number, in that case, your answer will always be positive. Especially if the single number is positive. So I hope this is very very clear to everyone. Now time for your DIY. Tell me what will be 1 upon um, 16 raised to 0 0.5. Not the negative sign. So now tell me what will be the answer for this one. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.